Wallace for GearWire.com. I'm at the Sony booth at Summer NAMM 2007 with Kurt Kussmaul of Sony, and we're looking at another Sony condenser mic here. Tell me a little bit about this one. Well, the C38B, first of all, is a microphone that was designed by Sony uh, about 40 years ago, and we've kept it in the product line. It's undergone a couple of minor changes in terms of its design, but it's a, an FET-based uh, condenser microphone that offers a switchable polar pattern, and it's used uh, very often for recording instruments. Uh, it can be used for a wide variety of applications for recording, but it's most notably popular for recording instruments that tend to create a very large sound. So, for example, uh, one of the characteristics of a mic that's great is that it can endure a very large amount of maximum sound pressure level. Uh, prior to distorting. So you can use this microphone for the purpose of recording, for example, a wind instrument like a trumpet or saxophone uh, without any concerns about being able to overload the microphone. Now with a high SPL mic like this, uh, do you recommend this for drum kit miking, uh, like a kick drum, or is this uh, more for wind instruments and orchestral you know, stuff? It, it, it can be. I mean, one of the things that this, this microphone uh, has a reputation for worldwide is that recording engineers that have been in the studio business for years know the characteristic sound of this microphone. Uh, this is sort of, a, in their toolkit, a go-to microphone. When they have an application that they're looking to record an instrument and they need to uh, know that they can choose a microphone for a particular recording application that is going to give them a, a large uh, flexibility in terms of the, the way that they can feel confident about the microphone and the way that's going to sound. Uh, very often they'll go to the C38B to use it, uh, but it can be used not only for these applications where high SBL at level handling is required, but they also may use it, for example, a pair of them on, on drum overheads or, you know, in a number of applications. I think that uh, uh, engineers, recording engineers around the world have become familiar with the product, feel very confident about it, and will go to it for a large number of uh, instrument recording applications. Now, uh, who's going to be able to afford this mic? Is this a wish list type of microphone for a home studio user, or is this in a price range where somebody who's building a home studio might be able to afford it? It's, it's, a, it's a microphone that's certainly, you know, more expensive than the sort of entry-level studio microphone area. But as a large, you know, diaphragm condenser mic, it, it is reasonably priced for the level of quality that it does provide. So you, you could find it ending up in professional recording studios as well as into some project studio uh, applications as well. All right. I'm at the Sony booth for Summer NAMM 2007. I'm Joe Wallace for GearWire.com.